Hello everyone, it is Lakedra, and I pray that everyone has had an uplifted week so far. And if you haven't, you will in the name of Jesus. You know, precious standards, God is still moving in the neighborhood. Those of you that are believing God for restoration in your marriage and you believe in God for the lines of communication to be open between you and your spouse so many may have not seen or heard from. You are believing God for the salvation and restoration and reconciliation in your marriage and in your family. God is moving in the neighborhood. I wanted to come on and encourage so many and also give an update to those that have also been standing with me. I want to share people of God. There was a suddenly this week where I received a special phone call from my husband. And many know the journey that I've been on since 2017. Where things begin to happen in my home. Things begin to happen. There was an attack that came against my husband through doctrines, through another doctrine, a form of godliness, false teachings, where the enemy used to separate my husband. It's what caused us to depart. And so in 2018, that's what my husband began to do. He decided to depart out of the home. And so my journey has been really since 2017, but my husband actually departed in 2018. And so it has been a journey, a hard journey, every step of the way. And so I just want to give a glimpse of it. There still is so much to talk about it. So I don't want to get ahead of myself. But what I want to say is this. There was a suddenly happened this week people of God where my husband wants to come and see us and so he wanted to let me know that he'll be in the area he wanted to come and see his children he wanted to come over and this it will be two years over two years since I actually seen my husband you know there, there will be a text here and there when business need to be handled but this time it was a phone call and the thing about it is when he called, I was in the middle of praying, calling out to God, pouring out my heart before him. And so when I heard the phone ring, I knew it was my husband because he has a certain ringtone on my phone. And what, what really shocked me was it wasn't on vibrate. You know, I was in the middle of praying. The ringer still was on. So I would have missed his call. But for some reason, God had it set up right on time where I wouldn't miss his call. And so when I heard the phone ringing, I literally was frightened because I thought something had happened. I said, oh, Lord, I sure hope that anything happened, you know, like an emergency or something happened. Because, you know, maybe, you know, it was something went on with our children. Of course, they, they, they are, you know, I have a a teenager and I also have a son who's 20 and so you know they be off doing their things they're working and stuff and have their careers going and, and so I'm like well maybe they contacted my husband because they couldn't reach me so when my husband called I picked up the phone I immediately asked is everything okay and my husband just kind of grinned a little bit he said yes everything is okay and I'm sure he understood what I was saying because he don't call. I hadn't heard his voice and us talk like this, people of God. It's been over two years. There would just be a text. But the lines of communication was hindered. The enemy completely had us separated. And like I say, I've been on this journey since 2017. And so for to see my husband calling, sounding like a, sounding like a new person. Wanting to see his children. Wanting to come over. I couldn't believe it. I thought it was a dream. You are next in line. Precious standards. 
I know what it's like when there is not a star in the sky. I know what it's like when you haven't heard from your spouse and you don't know when. I know what it's like when you're asking, Lord God, where are you? When am I coming out of this prison of torment? When am I coming out of this place of suffering? Lord God, I, I know what it's like, people of God. And so I, I, I literally thought I was dreaming. I couldn't believe that I was actually talking to my husband. I was talking to him. And to hear his voice, to hear his tone, to hear his heart. To hear him being so concerned. Concerned about us and concerned about seeing his children. And you could just hear in his voice that he, that he, that he had to get here. That he got to get here. And so this is what's coming up in the next couple of, of days. I will get a chance to see him. This is so amazing to us, you know. Like I say, that there will be a text here and there. And he may, you know, hear from the children from time to time. But I can count on one hand. Since 2020, I can count on one hand of the times my children were here. I would hear from a text from time to time only when there was something important. And, and that would be a, a hey and bye, but it was no communication. The lines was not open. And to see the lines open, people of God, I'm telling you, you are next in line. It doesn't matter what it looks like. There is so much I will be sharing as well as God continue restoring and reconciling us and healing. I'm going to share. The things God has done. I'm telling you. I am going to reveal more and more. As God continues the breakthrough. But I wanted to encourage those who have not seen and heard. I wanted to let you know prayers work. Obeying God works. Humbling ourselves before him works. Nothing is impossible with God. And, and you may say, well, Lakedra, I, I, I haven't even heard heard from my spouse there is no contact i don't even know where he or she is god knows where they are god will move up on their hearts i didn't really have no contact with my spouse either it wasn't even sounding like we would ever see him again no time soon and not only that he wants to even be with my daughter her birthday is coming up next month and so we'll be seeing him this is an opportunity for God to restore our relationship and for us to talk and work on things. I'm telling you, this is a mountain that has moved, you know, just getting them, getting that, that stronghold off of his mind. Many of you all may have heard my testimony, actually. It's in, it's, it's my very first video I've done where I shared how God had got my husband out of the doctrines he was in that literally broke up our home and brought heartache and heartbreak and this tragedy. And so when God got my husband out of that through praying and seeking his face and declaring the word, that was a miracle. That made me start the channel. But there still was a journey. There still was things needed to take place in our relationship that was so much damage there. That, that was so much blocking. God removed ungodly people out of my husband's life. He broke things that that happened the very things i had been praying for you know as i share with my husband he, he just allowed me to see my god the door is basically open you know there is there's no one there in his life hindering him it's not like i don't know what you what you're going through but god is able to remove these things he's able to break soul ties he's able to remove the stone is stubborn hearts. And, and so for my husband to just call out of the blue. It was a miracle. It's just no way. The enemy had that wall up so thick. It was thick as the walls of Jericho. And to see. the To see that wall come down. To see that wall broken. Was completely a miracle. To hear in my husband's voice sound like a new person i just couldn't believe it but i will be sharing more i don't want to get ahead of myself i i just want to just wait and, and share as time goes on i will keep you all updated i will keep you all posted and encouraged but i just want to thank everyone i feel that i at least owe this update to you all for so many that have stood with me many that have stood 
why you've been on your journey. Some has been following the channel since it began back in 2020. And so I am just so grateful. For so many as well that have seen breakthrough and so many that have been standing. I'm just so thankful that you all are not giving up. You all have not thrown in the towel. Don't get weary and well doing. You will reap a harvest if you faint not. You will begin to see things happening. You know, it reminds us of the story when Elijah was waiting for rain to come back in the earth and he was sent his servant. To go see if there was a cloud. You know after he would pray and pray. And the Bible says he prayed seven times. Over and over. Until he, he saw a sign. In the sky. A cloud somewhere. He began to, to look and, and see. And hear what his servant would say. If there was a cloud. And his servant would come back and say. No I don't see anything. And he would send him back again. And he would come back and he would say, no, I didn't see anything. And Elijah would send him back again. And his servant would come back and he would say, no, I, I, I still don't see anything. Until on that seventh time, the servant saw a small cloud, he says, looked like the size of a man's hand. Elijah kept praying and eventually he saw a sign. He saw God's mighty hand. Sending forth a cloud where he saw the rain was about to come back on the earth. This is why we can't give up. You will begin to see the mountain move. You will begin to see breakthrough. You will begin to see the very things that you have been desiring come to pass. As you hold on, you will see the goodness of the Lord. Hallelujah. And so I want to also pray with each and every one. I want to pray and encourage you, people of God. I want to stand with those that are needed. Someone to stand with. And many that have sent in your prayer requests know that I am praying for you. And, and some emails I haven't been able to respond to. And also I've been ministering on top of that. And so just know this precious standards. God is moving. He's still moving in the neighborhood. I didn't see a star in the sky. The lines of communication was, you, you can literally say that it, it, it was hardly none ever. And so to hear the phone ring and the voice of my husband. And now I get to see him in a couple of days because God done it. This had nothing to do with me. God done it. God is the one moving behind the scenes. He's working on the hearts. You don't have to force your spouse. God would do it as you give it to him. And so there are great things God has in store for each and every one of us. If you don't quit, don't throw in the tower. God is restoring homes and overturning situations that looks impossible. Hallelujah. God is doing great and mighty things as you don't give up. This is your year, people of God. You are next in line. You will see the doors come down, the walls come down, the lines opening up. You will begin to see reconciliation, relationships coming back together. Fathers returning back to his children and mothers turning back to her children in Jesus' name. And so, Father, right now in the name of Jesus, I pray for those that are listening right now. That are needing a breakthrough. Lord God may you help them to be encouraged. That you are opening up the lines of communication oh God. Lord I pray in Jesus name. Lord yes begin to send wayward spouses home. Begin to speak to their hearts and their minds. Remove the stony stubborn hearts oh God. Allow the scales to be taken away in Jesus name. Allow God fathers to be restored back to their children. And, and, and mothers restored back to their children. And, and husbands restored back to their wives oh God. In Jesus name we bind the works of the devil. We command you to flee Satan. Lord, as it is written in your word, in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 31, a man shall leave and cleave unto his wife, and they too shall be one flesh. Lord, thank you, Jesus, for removing the stony, stubborn hearts. Thank you, Lord, for bringing wayward spouses to repentance. Lord, thank you for speaking to their hearts, reaching them when, when only you the only one can, when only you can. 
Oh God, we praise you and thank you in advance. Thank you that there are coming more and more testimonies, more and more breakthroughs, more and more turnarounds. In Jesus' name, the voice is being overturned in Jesus' name. Yes, oh God, wayward spouse is coming back to you in Jesus' name. We give you the praise. Hallelujah. We glorify you, Lord. Yes, Lord, begin to turn around that situation for that one that is hurting right now, that standard that is hurting right now. Lord, bring comfort and encouragement in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. That the mountains are moving little by little, day by day. You're working behind the scenes. It doesn't matter what it looks like. Lord, thank you, Jesus. Things are happening. Oh, God, we give you the praise. Thank you for the joy that's coming in the morning. For weeping only endures for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Lord, thank you that you are faithful to your word. Hallelujah. Praise him, people of God, and thank him. God is moving in the neighborhood. God will begin to stir the heart of your spouse back into the place of where he's calling them. Back into your life and back to him. Hallelujah. Continue standing on his word. God is prospering. He's prospering his people. And I'm declaring and decreeing this is your year. I'm declaring and decreeing. That there is coming reconciliation in Jesus name and restoration in marriages. Remember God loves you people of God and I love you too. And until next time remember you are blessed and you are next in line. Bye bye.